Do you want to increase engagement with your chatters? Got some fun ideas for custom chat commands, but don't know where to start? Or maybe you can't quite figure out how to get your current bot to get it to work? Look no further. I'm going to show you how to set it all up from start to finish using StreamerBot, and soon you'll be cranking out custom commands all the time. I'll even help with your specific ideas if you let me know what they are. Let's make it happen. Hi friends, I'm Flair. I'm a variety streamer over at twitch.tv slash flair underscore TV, and I make guides here on YouTube to help other streamers learn to use some fun streamer tech. Today we're talking about the best Twitch chatbot available, StreamerBot. I've made some very specific videos about how to create certain effects for your stream using StreamerBot, but it's time I went back to the basics and showed you how to get it set up in the first place. I'm going to lead you all the way through the process from downloading and selling the app, connecting to Twitch, and then creating basic actions and commands. By the time we're done, you'll have everything you need to have working chat commands in your channel. I've got time codes in the video, so if you want to jump to a particular section, feel free, but it can't hurt to review the basics. Before we get into it, take a minute and add a comment about what kind of chat command you're thinking about, and I promise to do what I can to help you make it happen with StreamerBot. Let's get started by actually downloading and installing the bot. Go to streamer.bot, click the download button, and save the file somewhere that you'll recognize. Extract the contents with whatever method you prefer. Put everything in a folder called streamer.bot. I recommend getting rid of the version information on that folder to make updating easier later. Okay, now you can open your folder and run streamer.bot.exe. I recommend running it as administrator. The first time you launch it, you'll likely get one of those Windows Defender alerts about it being an unrecognized application. So just click more info and then run anyway. The next step will be to get streamer.bot connected to your Twitch account. For this, you want to go to the platforms tab, select the Twitch tab, and then the accounts tab. Now just click connect to Twitch. Twitch, and it should open up a browser window and run you through a standard authorization process. Follow the prompts, click OK, 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 and you should be good to go. I recommend also checking the Auto Connect and Auto Reconnect checkboxes here. If you have a separate account you'd like to use as your bot for the majority of your interaction with your chat, you can repeat this whole process with the section called Bot Account. Before you do this, be sure to log out of Twitch in the browser that you just used for authorization and log into your bot account. Then go back into StreamerBot and complete the authorization process for the bot account. Now we're all set and ready to respond to Twitch chat and set up some commands. Connecting directly to OBS Studio is not mandatory for basic commands, but it opens up a lot of options for cool effects. So I recommend it as part of the general setup process for StreamerBot, and it's also very simple, so let's just get it done now. If you use Streamlabs Desktop or Polypop, you can follow a similar process there, but today we're focusing on OBS Studio because that's what I use and I think it's the best. Feel free to fight me in the comments about it if you must. Anyway, to connect OBS, first we need to make sure OBS is running its WebSocket server. Open OBS Studio, go to Tools, WebSocket Server Settings, and check the Enable WebSocket Server checkbox. Make a note of the server port. I recommend checking the enable authentication checkbox and setting a password as well. Then click OK. Back in StreamerBot, open the Stream Apps tab, then the OBS sub tab. Right click and choose Add. Give the connection a name. OBS Studio, for example. Then fill in the host and port information. The defaults should be fine unless you change something in OBS, but just to be sure, use the same port number that you took note of earlier. If you set up authentication, type in the password here too. I recommend checking the auto connect on startup and reconnect on disconnect checkboxes as well. Click OK, then right click and choose connect to test the connection. The status column should show connected if all is well. Now your bot is all set up to interact directly with your scenes and sources in OBS Studio. I want to take a second here just to thank you for watching. If this video has been useful to you at all, please hit the like button, consider subscribing to my channel, and say hi in the comments. It helps me out immensely and it's free. Now let's look at how to actually set up a chat command for your channel in StreamerBot. The two functional parts we're going to use in StreamerBot to get this working are called actions and commands. Actions are basically a set of logical instructions that tell StreamerBot what to do, whether it's outputting chat to Twitch, toggling a filter in OBS, playing a sound, or even running custom code. Commands are what they sound like. They allow you to trigger actions based on things that your users type into chat. We'll get to those later. Now that we've defined those terms, let's set up a basic action that we want to have happen. Let's start with something really simple, like outputting your Discord server invite. Speaking of which, if you want to hang out and chat about StreamerBot or OBS or whatever, or just post pictures of your cat, you should join the Conclave, my Discord community. I'll put the link below. Anyway, to set up this action, we want to go to the Actions tab, right click, select Add. Give your action a name, make sure the Enabled checkbox is checked, and then you can pretty much ignore the rest of the options in this box for now, and press OK. We'll go into further depth in another video for those. Now we we want to define the sub actions that we want this action to perform. In this case, we want to output a message to Twitch. So we right click under the sub actions, choose Twitch, and then choose send message to channel. If you've connected a secondary Twitch account as a bot account, you can choose which account will send this message in the box at the top. In the box that pops up, we can type our message we want to send to chat. Hey, join my Discord. Here's the link. And then paste your invite link. Click OK, and then you're done. Now let's set up the command that people can type to make this 
transaction happen. Open the command tab, right click and choose add. The box that pops up is a little overwhelming at first, but for a basic command, you really only need a couple things and you can leave everything else at its default. The main thing you wanna do is type the command that people will put into your chat into the commands box. For this one, we'll just put exclamation discord. If you want the command to trigger, even if they type the command in the middle of the sentence, you can change the location box to anywhere, but we'll just leave it alone for now. The only other item here that we really need to use is to select our action. Click the box next to action and choose the one we just created. You can do other cool stuff like set restrictions on who can trigger it or add cooldowns, but for now, let's just click OK and go see it work. Now we'll just take a look at chat here in OBS and see it working live. I'll just type in exclamation discord in the chat and you'll see the bot respond with the link just as expected. Hopefully you can now take what you've learned here and start building your own custom chat commands. You can build so many things with this simple tool, like a hug command and let your chatters give each other some love, display a random joke from a list you've created, or anything else you can imagine. Let me know in the comments what kind of thing you'd like to build, and I'll try and point you in the right direction. I stream Sunday and Monday nights on Twitch. I'm always down to talk about StreamerBot, so come stop by and ask me your questions. I'll help you figure out a way to make your idea happen. Again, thanks for watching. Go ahead and check out some of my other videos for deep dives into specific effects that you can build. And as always, remember to spread love, not hate.